like all the videos on Saigon Cat's channel are made possible by fans like you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Sadie Jane. Anyone else who's lurking in chat? Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. I'm your host, Saigon, and we're back with more of the Dragon Quest VII live-streamed Let's Play. There are stairs here. I didn't see those last night. <laughs> These, oh, that's right. This leads down into the base. Where there will be story. Very well. I hereby adjourn this briefing. There are no further questions, I trust. Ben, Larda Warrior. Good morning, good morning. No, Captain Goodwinding, sir. No questions, sir. The important thing is not to act rashly. Is that quite clear? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Very well. If that is all, I shall return to Faraday Castle. Faraday? Robots? Faraday? Ah, uh, it's, it's clever. Yes, sir. Mind how you go, sir. Hello. What do we have here, then? Mercenaries here to ply your trade, I take it. Well, I don't want to see any heroics. Those automata are heartless curs without a shred of honor. We can't afford to throw men at them willy-nilly. Good day to you. Are you travelers? We are. Goodness, I must say, I'm astounded that you managed to make it here alive. Our little town of Frobisher is under constant assault from those awful auto automata. No one knows why, of course. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to pronounce that, like where I want to put the inflection. Eh. I would advise you to run along to Faraday Castle. You'll be safer there. I dare say we shan't hold out here forever. An army marches on its stomach. Did you ever hear that one? I don't care how many clockwork cads we're fighting. There's always time for a jolly good feed. I agree with that. Never heard it, but I agree with it. Hey, Soul Taker, good morning. We're running rather low on supplies, I'm sorry to say, but that's no excuse. There's no recipe so plain that a little perspiration and a dash of inspiration can't liven it up. These are thrifty times, after all. I just love dirty laundry. I love to get it as clean as clean can be. You have a good work ethic, child, I guess. I guess if there's nothing else to do, doing laundry might be considered fun. Unhand me, you metal fiend. Prepare for a spot of fisticuffs. I'll make you sing small, you'll see. Sing small. Sing small. Thank you, love. My baby brought me coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. It seems I was rather hasty in jumping to conclusions there. Gosh, how I envy those who somehow still manage to sleep like tops. Like this... This guy. This fellow right here. Ben has made it to the arena. I remember that far. <laughs> I'm a crack shot with a catapult, I'll have you know. Did you see them robot... Those, them nobbled automata out there? Struck down, neat as you like? That were my Andy work, that were. Talk to you? I'm sleeping. Ah! Cripes, I've nodded off again. I do hope I haven't missed Captain Goodwinding's briefing. You did. Oh, yeah, Kiefer's on this. I think he might be out of luck there. Captain Goodwinding's already gone back to the castle. Oh, dash and bother. I shall be hauled over the coals when I return to the castle. Just my rotten luck. Back to sleep. So our current plot hook appears to be, go to the castle. But we still have some gear that I want to purchase. The stone axe, that's right. We were going to pick up the stone axe for 
Ruff, and then also one for Kiefer. But we don't have the money for that yet, apparently. Oh, whoops. Yes, we do. I accidentally tried buying two of them. Uh, which idea, Soul Taker? There, there's so much lag between what I say and what happens in chat, I'm not sure what you're referring to. <laughs> that I have to go to the castle? Because they told me to. They said, hey, you should go to the castle. A couple of times, actually. <laughs> They've been hinting at it very subtly. <laughs> even Reggie's hinting at it. He hasn't even played this game. He knows I should go to the castle. <laughs> Robot! Robot Roll Call! I just realized I don't remember the entire Robot Roll Call from MST3K. I remember Tom, I remember Crow, and I remember Gypsy, but I think there was another one. <laughs> Hi, Truth! Good to see ya. Cleaning day comes at the worst time. Oh, no! Have you been missing out on DQ7? I'm sorry if you've been missing out on DQ7. Nobody should be missing out on DQ7. Ouch! Rude! Bum, 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 bum. You know what? I just realized how much does mid heal cost? Twice as much for more than double of heal. Mid heal is yet again very efficient. Oh, don't you worry, Sadie. I'm sure I'll get lost eventually. I'm sure it's a universal law.
full heal is only 6 MP? That's what you heard? That's, that's a possibility. The heal is 2 and mid heal is 4. Has Twitch gotten its shit together since yesterday? Well, last night Twitch was doing just fine. Like last night I was able to stream for 2 hours just completely uninterrupted. We haven't had any issues yet today, but I've only been live for 12 minutes, so... <laughs> Let's not rock the boat yet. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, baby. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> Can you bring monsters to fight? Um, there's a possibility that there's a monster training class. I think there's a monster transforming class. Um, I don't know which one it is, though. We're almost there. We're almost there. Robot! Ba bum 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 I thought this game just had straight recruitable monsters. <clears throat> um, not from anything I'd seen in the first 20 to 30 hours on the PlayStation 1 version. But there's like, there's so many classes in this game, I'd be surprised if one of them wasn't some kind of monster recruiting class. Oh, oh, so what that is, Truth, is um, you can befriend monsters and send them off to the Monster Meadow, which is like a town for monsters. And uh, those same monsters will, you can send them out to get you Traveler's Tablets, which are kind of the version of Grotto Maps in this. Oh yeah, Soul Taker. This one has a huge class system. Like, it makes FF5's class system look tiny by comparison. It's ridiculous. Do I have that money yet? I don't have that money yet. Ba -da -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Am I still kicking ass? At, what's that game that you, uh... Is, is that Grand Battle? Orbo made a character for me in, um... I want to say Grand Battle is the uh, name of it. 137 wins and zero losses. Confirmed. Saigon Cat OP. Grand Kingdom. Okay. Saigon Cat is OP. Money! We have money! So the robots weren't actually giving that much. She slimes to be seem to be where it's at. We'll get an iron lance for Kiefer. That's actually better than the uh, stone axe. We don't have money for that. Kiefer, how much does your mallet go for? 205. How much is the lance? 1,000? There's 1,100. 
A thousand. All right, sweet. Now he'll be confusing us by flame slashing with a stabbing weapon. Alright, armor. Is there anything that we need to buy armor-wise? Get shell armor for the lads. Bronze shields for the lads. And iron helmets for the lads. There's a lot. Those are expensive. I think we'll head to the castle first. See what all we can get there and then we'll work our way back. Oh yeah, the PSTV is such a steal. I think Sony was expecting it to do much better than it did. And now everyone's just trying to get rid of it. I really need to grab a PSTV also. Uh, PSTV is a PlayStation console that attaches to televisions like you'd expect a normal console would. But it's... Yeah, it's... Uh, well, it plays Vita games, and Vita was their most recent handheld. So instead of having the handheld, you can just pair a Sony controller to the PSTV and digitally download Vita games. And it works with, like, most of them. There's really only a couple that it won't work with. Robo says, sorry I was late. I was watching a Samuel L. Jackson motherfucker compilation. How long did that run you? <laughs> Probably at least a good half hour. <laughs> oh, it works with physical games too? Really? I didn't realize it worked with physical games. I thought it was strictly digital. Well, that's good to know. That's what I was planning on playing, uh... Persona 3 and 4 on when I get to them. the cleverly named Faraday Castle. A reminder to everyone, tonight we'll be starting the Final Fantasy VII uh, weekly stream. Perry Onan will be joining us for that one. Take this and that. Admit it, I can fight. Come on, hire me, will you? You won't regret it. Ha ha ha. I say, you wouldn't happen to have seen the captain anywhere, would you? Ah, you have. So he made it back safe and sound, eh? Capital. No doubt he'll be giving the king the lowdown. If you happen to see him, kindly tell him that Lance Corporal Promptly Wallop requests a moment of his time. Promptly Wallop. This is the officer's mess. It's where we gentlemen of intermediate rank retire to silence and requiescence after the manifold tribulations of the working day. Any symposia concerning matters of tactics and strategies also tend to occur within the confines of these four walls. Between you and me, our most recent confabulations have been elephantine in duration and lilliputian in import. <laughs> that guy owns a dictionary. <laughs> Well, 
Let me guess. You're here to sign on as mercenaries, am I right? And a jolly good thing, too. We need all the help we can get, let me tell you. Of course, I just can't have you... I can't just wave you through. There's red tape to worry about, don't you know? I take it you're happy to demonstrate your prowess in battle? Splendid. This way, if you please. So these are our bricky recruits to be, are they? Indeed they are, if you'd be so kind as to put them through their paces. It will be my pleasure. They seem rather a plucky bunch, don't they? Righto, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I'll take you on, and we'll see if you pass muster. He's wearing much more armor than he was a second ago. What version are we playing? We're playing the PlayStation 1 version. On an emulator. Sweetie, can you let the puppy out? She's whining. Thank you, love. I really wish Maribel would sap more. We'll just set her to follow orders. She doesn't really want to sap on her own. Anyone know how much replacement keyboards cost? You can usually get like a decent Logitech one for $10 at like Walmart. Keyboards are not expensive. Just get yourself a cheap Logitech and they're fine. I've been using the same one for years. Oh, a laptop keyboard. Well, that is gonna vary. Oops, Maribel, I didn't want you. Drill Sergeant got wrecked. Rickety wrecked. That will be quite sufficient. Easy peasy. I think we can safely say you come up to scratch. You are cordially invited to assist us in giving those filthy automata the pummeling they so richly deserve. A famous victory. You young mercenaries have acquitted yourselves with aplomb. Now, are you ready to do your utmost to defend the honor of our kingdom? Marvelous. I have high hopes for all of you. Come along then, recruits. Back to the corporal's mess with you. Orbo, you should totally be playing this. The fact that you have it and you aren't playing it concerns me. Are you okay? Do you have a fever? Your orders for the moment are to make ready your equipment and stand by until further notice. All being well, Captain Goodwinding will be returning to the castle presently. In the meantime, it's the done thing for new recruits to go and swear allegiance for His Majesty personally, you know. Best to not break with tradition, eh? so it seems you passed the test with flying colors. Welcome aboard. Well, I say that, but to be honest, I think you've positively... You're positively barmy to want to fight those iron bludgers. He thinks we're cray-cray. Oh, they healed us up for free. That was nice of them.
I very much enjoyed watching your little set to just now. It was a barnstorming performance. It seems you made the grade. Jolly good show. As our newest recruits, it is my pleasure to let you pass. What's the difference between the PSX version and the 3DS version? Well, presentation aside, they've streamlined a number of aspects with the game. Uh, here you can see the map that you get on the touch screen, the bottom screen. In addition to having the map, there's also a gem in the top left corner. That is your fragment detector, so you don't have to go looking for the darn shards of the map pieces and check every single stupid barrel in hopes of finding them. Uh, they streamlined things, they rebalanced the game so that it's not so rough on, out the get-go. Um, there's also a bunch of new side quest content. They have a system kind of similar to Grotto's. Oh, I haven't seen your ugly mugs before. You're new recruits, I take it? Well, if it's an audience with the king you're after, you'll find him upstairs. Good day to see you. I'm a missionary, bringing the gospel of the Almighty to even the most benighted realms. I learned that this kingdom was engaged in an unending battle against a barbaric foe and thought I might be able to assist. But the automata have me flummoxed. How can one hope to convert those who have no souls? Isn't the beginning of this game significantly faster compared to the PS1 version? Yeah, by like a factor of three or four. You can get to your first combat in this one in like an hour or less, as opposed to three or four. <laughs> this is the Royal Bedchamber. You really shouldn't go in there, you know? It's awfully rude. You know, I hear what you're saying, lady, and I'm ignoring it. Yeah, yeah, you did nothing to stop me, huh? Nothing. If you're wondering what the rum contraption shuffling around in the corner is, it's a variety of automaton. What's it called, you ask? I believe it's known as Automated Debris Aspirator. You switch the thing on and it busies itself, sucking up dust and other undesirable substances. It can be rather temperamental, mind you. Books. The Analects of Confucius. <laughs> There is no right or wrong in battle. There are only the living and the dead. So does that make battle right or wrong? That's actually closer to something that you would find in the Art of War, which was Sun Tzu, but, you know. Do not fear death. There may yet be surprises awaiting you in the next world, or there may not. In which case, be afraid. <laughs> Very useful books you guys have. His Highness is desperately fatigued. I trust you will keep this brief. Yes, truth. It, it's properly pronounced Confucius, but the spelling in these books was different. Confu it was spelled Confuse Us instead of Confucius. It was a pun. Fresh faces, eh? More raw recruits? I shouldn't wonder, and probably mercenaries to boot. Time was we wouldn't have dreamed of pressing every passing wastrel into service. It's a dashed, ungentlemanly business. Rude. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and with these automata running amok, desperate is something close to an understatement. My duty as king is to defend our great nation by any means necessary. Gentlemanly conduct is, unfortunately, a luxury we can ill afford. Nonetheless, we must d maintain at least a bare minimum of de- ba 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 A bare minimum of decorum, I suppose. May I ask you your names? <clears throat> Pleased to meet you, your majesty. My name is Maribel. The name's Kiefer. Ruff, my name's Ruff. Nice to meet you. Can we be friends? I hope so. <laughs> and your name is Saigon, you say? I see. Now I trust I can depend on you all. 
I can depend on you to do all that is in your power to, fit, to defend the interests of my kingdom. Words are hard. Very good. Now I'm sure Captain Goodwinding has duties for you to attend to. Be on your way, and do not bring the name of my kingdom into disrepute, or I shall hear of it. Captain Goodwinding reporting, Your Majesty. I don't know if it's supposed to be Goodwinding or Goodwinding. So, how do things stand in Frobisher? Alas, the struggle of against the Automaton Horde shows no signs of abating. I rather fear that neither our troops nor the townspeople will prevail for much longer. <clears throat> Where's my voice going? <coughs> I see. It seems things are far from ideal. I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. I can only apologize that our efforts have fallen so very short. It cannot be helped. We are bloody but unbowed. Indeed, Your Majesty, I am currently devising a radical new strategy, and our counterattack will commence presently. Very good. Now I have just had the immeasurable pleasure of meeting some of our newest recruits. I trust you will inform them of their duties, and when you have, you should rest. You look exhausted, man. Yes, Your Majesty. Report to the officer's mess. I have a new strategy to unveil, and you may rest assured that you shall have your part to play. I recall the next boss being kind of rough, though. Ah, there you are. I believe that's everyone. Let's get this little conflab underway, shall we? Now I have just returned from Frobisher. As you all know too, as you know all too well, this is the front line in our war against the automata. As you also know, the town is serving as a forward bulwarks. Stemming the onward progress of the enemy forces. The doughty townspeople and our troops are valiantly facing down our foes, but though it pains to say it, they are at breaking point. If things continue as they are, Frobisher will be overrun and the castle put at grave risk. I need hardly remind you of how dire the consequences would be if our last bastion were to fall. It is no exaggeration to say it would spell the end for our kingdom. That, this being the case, we have no choice. We must gird our loins and reverse the advance of the automaton horde. But there is just one problem. In terms of sheer numbers, we are no match for our foe. Which is why we need a peerless plan, a strategy... A, a strategy without peril. A tactical tour de force that will leave our enemy utterly confounded. Does anyone have any ideas? <laughs> Well, we'll give it some thought, shall we? I'm sure a frank and open exchange of opinions will yield results. What about finding out where the robots are coming from and going and attacking that place, huh? Well, we'll give it some thought, shall we? I'm sure a frank and open... Blah, 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 blah. This is how things seem to me. Our enemy has no weak points that we are aware of. Any attempts to scare or starve them out simply will not work, and a direct assault is clearly out of the question. Which is to say, we face an enemy to which none of our standard strategies can be applied. Really, it's quite a quandary. I know the captain's not going to want to hear this, but I think we need to have a word with old Autonomous. If you want to know about Automata, who better to ask? Well, if we try to launch a full-scale assault, they'll see us coming a mile off. If only there were some way of stealing a march on them and striking from behind. The accursed things must have a switch or something you can turn them off with, what, mustn't they? You know, like those cleaning machines you see about the place. 
Well, we know where their base is, that's something, but we can't very well just march in there and expect to win. We don't have enough men to get the job done. I know, how's this for strategy? We fight our bully hardest until, uh, until we win. Sorry, that's the best I could do at short notice. All right, let's see what bright ideas we've come up with, shall we? Even with us to help out, I doubt that brings the numbers up enough, does it? They aren't alive, right? They're just machines. There must be some way to use that to our advantage. Sorry, I didn't even know what tactics were till just now. <laughs> I see. Would anyone care to add anything? Captain, spit it out, man. I was thinking, uh, would it be too presumptuous to suggest that we ask old Autonomous for his advice? Ah oh, yes, the inventor! It's certainly an idea. He's a tinkerer of some renown after, all. renown, after all. His knowledge of mechanical matters might just be the thing to give us the edge. Absolutely not. No matter how dire our predicament, we simply cannot countenance calling on the services of that adulpated old fop-doodle. Fop-doodle. Captain, with all due respect, this is the only choice we have. He may know something that could be of use to us. I agree. Surely there can be no harm in asking him. You may do as you please, but I for one will have nothing to do with such foolishness. This meeting is adjourned. You fop doodles. So grumpy. Wait, Captain. Why does that guy hate Professor Autonomous? I'm not trying to look at the map. I wonder what could have caused the animosity the captain seems to feel for old Autonomous. Something downright ugly must have happened between the two of them. Still, we can't very well afford to let that get in our way. It's clear we're going to have to prevail upon this inventor for assistance if we're going to stand a chance. But how? I don't know. Where is he? Eureka! I have it! You mercenary fly-by-nights needn't worry about upsetting the captain. You'll be gone before long after all. Thanks. We shall have you go in our stead. Recruits, I hereby order you to visit the inventor Autonomous on our behalf. He lives in a shack he rather grandly calls the Royal Institute of Automatry. You'll find it to the west of here. You are to request his assistance. You will not, I repeat, not take no for an answer. I'm sure noble warriors such as yourselves will have no problems accomplishing this trifling mission. Now be off with you! That soldier's got a lot of nerve treating Marable Maid like some kind of lowly errand girl. He's just lucky I'm so forgiving or he'd have gotten a piece of my mind. Yeah, you're saving that piece of your mind for everyone else you know. To the west. Oops, Maribel's still on uh, manual controls. That's a new eggplant type enemy. We haven't seen you yet. An aubergine. <laughs> Aw. Bergine. Uh, look at these puns. It's puns, man.
we're, we're, we're. Anything around here? Barrels. There's barrels. Yes, Nutter. Why is that weird? Why is that one throwing you off, Truth? Why is the enemy's name not capitalized? You guys find weird things to nitpick, I swear. I don't know, I honestly hadn't noticed. Automated debris aspirator model ADA-003 is out of order. Must source spare parts. The words Mechanized Ablutionary Apparatus Model MAA-001 are engraved on a little bronze plate. Hey, it's a bone steak. We can sell that. <clears throat> now if I place the counter-rotary spindling cog here and slot the pandering arm into the snozzle, Hmm, no, it's still not quite there. He's gone to the Dr. So Dr. Seuss School of Robotics. Oh, of course, I need to swap this pendular spring around so that it sits plumb with the uvulary hose, and that's better. Now to tighten the oscillating frenulator, and voila! Excuse me, we are here, you know. You're not being very welcoming. Maribel, we just kind of snuck into this man's house. You don't need to be so rude about it. Do you mind? I have nothing to say to any of you and some rather important work to be getting on with. We need to find someone called Autonomous. Are you Autonomous? Where's Autonomous? Well, that's my name. What of it? Now, let me guess. A certain Captain Goodwinding asked you to come, and he wants me to do something about the rampaging automata that have been menacing this men. His men, am I correct? No, he didn't send us. Oh, really? Well, then, why did you come? Do you want to place an order for an automated debris aspirator, perhaps? I'm afraid you're out of luck. I shall be devoting all my efforts for the foreseeable future to repairing this mechanical maid. You'll just have to suck up your dust yourself, I'm afraid. Afraid? Afraid? Now, if you don't mind. Okay, well, I guess, I guess, on a technicality, we're here because of good winding. I couldn't give two hoots about his men or his precious castle or the people in it, or any people at all, in fact. I have more sympathy for a single automaton than I have for the entire human race. People look at them and they think they see evil. Ha! They should take a look at themselves. Go back to the castle and tell Goodwinding I want nothing to do with him or anybody else. I hope I've made myself sufficiently clear. <clears throat> what happened? What happened? Why are you so mad? There's a letter sticking out from between two books. My dearest Autonomous, tomorrow I shall be going hunting in the forest with your beloved brother Thaddeus. If I manage to bag anything, I shall be sure to come and show it off to you. I might even cook you a little something if you're awfully lucky. So be sure to starve yourself and await my triumphant return with suitably breathless anticipation. Can't wait to see you again, darling. Toodaloo for now, your dashing huntress, Ellie. Uh-oh. There was a woman involved. Hey, a shelmet! Betting... Betting Gabo can wear that. It's terrible for everyone.
Consolidated combi Combinatory Comestible Combustor Model CCCC002 are engraved on a little bronze plate. Money? Not much. You know, I'm betting if we went back and did another Traveler's Tablet, we'd get quite a lot of money in there. I don't know if um, I have access to getting a new one now, though. I feel we should probably finish up this area first. Probably. You managed to speak to Old Autonomous, then, I take it? Why not pop down to the officer's mess and tell the lads what he said? Oh, be warned though, the captain might be on the prowl. Yeah, they, nobody's gonna want to hear what he said. It's not gonna make anyone happy. There you are. How did it go with Old Autonomous? Did he offer us his much-needed assistance? Not really. I must say, that's not the news I was hoping for. What is the old curmudgeon's problem, I wonder? Ah, you're back. Did you manage to enlist Old Autonomous' aid? No. I see. Seems he's a rather stubborn old goat. Hmm. Well, if you'd come to me before sending, a before sending out your little secret delegation, perhaps I could have told you that and saved you the bother. Trust me, I know the man better than anyone. Captain, we're sorry, but with all due respect, we're running out of options and... Save your breath, soldier. Let's just say we'll need to think of a different approach and leave it at that. Now, Saigon, I'm assigning you to lookout duty. I want you to relieve the guard stationed immediately above us. Is that understood? Very good. And I would be grateful if you would forget that you ever heard the name Autonomous. <clears throat> a no sleep till beat marathon? Orbo, you have uh, some crazy ideas. Crazy, sir. You need to get all the way up there. You need to go around the bottom edge? I think so. I think I need to go this way. Herm, or not. Through the castle, maybe? Ask that mercenary chappy to act as a lookout at the top of the castle, but far from putting my mind at ease, he's turned me into a nervous wreck. If he's not up to scratch, it'll be my head for the chopping block. I just pray he doesn't let me down. I simply can't wait to see our beloved palace guards leap into action. They're such an awfully dashing lot. I do apologize. I should explain. When the guards spy say, when the guards spy anything suspicious, they immediately leap down the trap door there to report it. It's just the most breathtaking display of bravery and stoic fulfillment of duty. It sets my heart a quiver. Something awful. How hard have I been poking things? I should have eight to ten mini medals by this point. I have two. <laughs> what the devil? I'm I'm awfully sorry. To the officer's mess, without delay. Follow me, soldier. <laughs> 
golly, how devilishly manly, but I suppose that means something awful must have happened. Now calm down, soldier, and tell me what happened. You say Frobisher has fallen. Yes, sir, we lost a lot of men. Those things, they're... they're... Ugh. Come on, man, snap out of it. Stiff upper lip and all that. Yes, sir, we... We were unable to hold back their advance. The automata march on the castle as we speak. That's enough, man. Rest now. You did well to make it here so gravely injured. So it seems the automata have humbugged us. Alert the troops. We must put the entire castle on a war footing. Yes, sir. Saigon, you will come with me. This time, Autonomous will talk to you whether he likes it or not. Time is against us. We have no choice but to set aside our petty differences for the sake of the kingdom. Quickly now, we march westward. There isn't a moment to lose. I would, I would really like a church, man. No? No church? Should I just AFK? I'll just AFK. It's time for a short break, everybody. I will be back in, like, five minutes, for those of you watching on Twitch. Uh, I'm still waking up. I'm sorry. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you're enjoying this series, please remember to hit like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if anyone out there would like to further assist the channel, please check out my Patreon page. We have a number of goals and rewards over there. Um, thank you for taking the time to look at it, and I will see you all next time. Take care, guys. Twitch, BRB.